We're live. We're live. Yep, yep, we're definitely live. How's it going, everybody? Some guy who cooks here. Nobody's in here yet. And that's okay, because we just started. I don't know how many people we're going to get today. Maybe a few, maybe a lot. Either way, glad to see you when you get here. I got the chat overlay going from Restream. So as soon as these comments start popping in, you'll be able to see them right on the side over here, uh, which I think is pretty cool. And I'll go ahead and be able to respond to them as they come in. So before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below, and share with your friends. Today, we are making bananas foster. How awesome is that? And actually, I have one more light I want to turn on over here real quick. Give me a sec. Ah! There we go. Now things are just a little bit brighter, huh? Okay, guys, so we're going to get started here. Uh, first, I'm going to introduce you what all I got here. So like I said, we're making bananas foster. We're making a slight take on it. Uh, in that I, I didn't change very much, not very much. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, we've got a bunch of bananas cut up here. They're kind of cut into, I, I quartered them long ways and then cut them into smaller pieces. So, you know, you got about like, like this little banana fries almost. And that's what we're going to be uh, using mm, to make our bananas foster. Now, what, what you need to do with bananas foster, really, you kind of need to make the sauce first and then you toss the bananas in that sauce let them caramelize a little bit and, uh, you know, get a, a, a little a little hot. You warm them up. You don't want to, like, fry them, fry them, but, you know, do a good job. We've got our griddle heating up here. I'm only taking to about 350, so it, it is up to temp. You want a medium heat on. Uh, if you're doing just in a pan, you want a medium heat. Uh, but because, like I said, I'm using a griddle, we're doing about 350. Where in the heck did I put my... Uh, Oh, there they are. I was looking for these guys. I was like, where did it go? And I found it, which is good. So uh, like I said, you want to start with the sauce first. What we're going to start off with, I'll tell you what all we've got. We've got about a quarter of a, a, of a cup of butter. Uh, I have a little bit more than that. But you want about a quarter cup of butter. And we've got dark brown sugar. Actually, I'll point you down here at all the ingredients. Eh, you can't see them so well like that. But anyway, we've also got dark brown sugar. We've got vanilla extract, cinnamon. Some chopped walnuts. We've got our bananas. And i got a couple types of alcohol here. I've got uh, some brandy. And then I've got some pecan whiskey and banana whiskey. I was really intrigued when I bought these. And I thought, you know what? They'd probably be great for making desserts. And that's what we're going to get to test them out on today. So what we're going to start off with. Oh, and we've also got. I've got a really nice Vietnamese cinnamon here. It's 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 really nice, guys. It's super delicious. Uh, anyway, and then, of course, our vanilla extract. So what we're going to start with, though, we are going to pop on. Our butter, I see Crystal has jumped in and says, butter and sugar, huzzah! Those things are both amazing things, and those are exactly what we'll be using today. Um, so here we go. You said skip the bananas. Why skip the bananas? The bananas are great. I love bananas. But anyway, let's go ahead and throw our butter down here. We're just going to let it kind of butter the entire skillet, okay? Uh, it's going to melt down, and that's good. Try not to let it go down your drain in the back there, guys, because you don't want to lose any of this delicious butter. But go ahead, go ahead and uh, melt it around. It's a good amount of butter, and we're going to try to use as much of it as we can. Ah, don't you dare go down that drain in the back, butter, okay? that's And look at this butter just sliding around. That is this uh, Blackstone nonstick surface for you, you know? And it's also butter. I mean, butter does that. But anyway, we're going to start adding in some of our brown sugar. We're using dark brown sugar. It's got more, stronger, better flavor. You want about a quarter of a cup of it. So that should do us. I'll add a little more, more if we need more. But uh, yeah, start mixing it around with that butter. You want to really create a sauce here, okay? Do, do, do. Uh, and uh, I didn't show you guys, I have another kind of sugar with me, not just brown sugar. I also have some raw sugar, uh, but that's going to come in at the end. What I'm going to use that for is I'm going to uh, sprinkle a little bit of that on top of our banana, buttery, sugary, cinnamon, delicious mixture. And I'm going to brulee it with a brulee torch to give us a little bit of a crispy top for our bananas foster. So let's go ahead. I'm going to add a little bit more brown sugar because we are creating a sauce here. We just want this stuff to simmer. Simmer, simmer, simmer. 
I see Ron has jumped in. Huzzah! Glad you're here. Has your little lost its non-stick, or is it as good as when you bought it still? It has lost a fair amount of its non-stick. However, it comes back a little bit if you use some baking soda and water as a paste. Let it sit on there, and uh, and then give it a good rub around. It takes off a, a lot of the oils that kind of bind themselves and create um, a not non-stick service. They kind of kill that non-stick service, you know? Uh, it definitely helps out. Um, but, I mean, look at this. None of this is, is sticking. None of it. And keep it away from that drain. You don't want it going down the drain. And sorry, Chris, I, I, you said you hate bananas. I'm sorry to hear that. I love them. I got a few friends who are actually allergic to bananas, and I'm just like, oh, I'm sorry, guys. That sucks. Because apparently, uh, so one of them I work with, and he said that apparently he didn't used to be allergic to bananas, and he used to love them. And now he's allergic and he can't have them. So, bummer, you know? Hey, bananas. Level the griddle before cooking on it. Uh, it's I, I haven't set a level on it, but I'm going to tell you now, it is a, it's actually a very level surface. It does a great job. Everything spreads nice and evenly. Um, yeah. I mean, look at it right now. It's spreading out nice and even. Uh, and that's because it's hot, and I've scooped everything to the center, so that's why it's kind of pushing itself outward, because, you know, you can't really expect a liquid pile to stay stacked up in the center there. We're also going to add some chopped walnuts to this. We want these to toast with our mixture. Because, you know, who doesn't want, eh, why not? We'll make this very walnutty. Uh, walnuts and bananas and brown sugar and all that go, uh, go together very, very, very well, so... We're going to mix these in. We want this mixture to be not thick, thick, but also not completely runny. But look, add that. That walnut dust is acting just how I want it to. We are going to thin it out a little bit with some of this liquor in a minute, guys. So it's good that it is thickening up. I am 100% okay with that outcome. Next up, though, we are going to add our cinnamon and our vanilla extract. Thing forward to the hole doesn't suck up your stuff. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Tip the whole thing forward to the hole doesn't suck up your stuff. Luckily, uh, it's all staying pretty well. Um, I would tip it forward, but the lip here isn't very big, uh, so I really just don't want every any, to lose anything anywhere. Is it would be better to lose it in the hole than it would to lose it over the front here, though, because that would pour down to our heating element, and uh, that would be muy mal, you know? So there's our vanilla extract there. Ooh, that smells good as it's simmering. We're going to mix it into all this. The brown sugar and the butter and the walnuts. And I'll probably add a bit more in a sec here, okay? I wish you guys could smell this all. It smells fantastic. So, Crystal, right now there's no bananas, so you'd love it just as it is. And, you know, you could just take this stuff and put it right on top of some ice cream. And it would be fantastic. I am not going to argue that. Ow. You know, I've managed to burn myself in every episode, don't I? So, this is, <laughs> this is smelling amazing, guys. Now we're going to add our cinnamon. And just add another level of amazing flavor and depth to the whole dish. I like a good, strong cinnamon flavor, so I'm adding plenty of dashes of this stuff. Oh, oh yeah, I love it. I love it. And we're just mixing that around, and pretty soon, in just a moment, we're going to add our liquors, and then we're going to add our bananas and turn off the heat, okay? So here we go. It's all toasting really well. I, I do wish you guys could smell this. It smells amazing in here, okay? It really does. It smells like just the, the best desserty smell you can imagine. So let's go ahead and start with our brandy. A big old bottle of brandy. You have some cognac here. I'm going to pour a little bit right in the center. Woo! And I'm going to turn this heat down a little bit. Turn it to 300. Because it is plenty of hot, and we've got plenty of griddling going on here. 
So we don't need it to be super hot anymore, okay? A good medium heat is good. But there we go. There's that brandy adding another depth of flavor, adding uh, some more substance to this caramelization. And after the brandy, we're going to add a little bit of this banana-flavored whiskey, which I know sounds weird, smells great. It actually smells a lot like banana bread. So I'm going to add some of that in here. And let that simmer down. Get it all nice and mixed in. All Thoro like, you know. Thoro, not Thor. And it looks like we do have about four eyes on the episode right now. So I'm glad to see we got uh, more than just, you know, one or two. So it's good that you guys are in here. I'm glad to have you here. And we've added our banana whiskey. There's only one more left. It is our roasted pecan flavored whiskey. Adding another little bit of nuttiness, another little sweetness, and some more of that boozy whiskey flavor here, which is going to go so well with everything we got. Mmm, I can smell the pecans. It's a... Uh, it's fantastic, guys. All right. And our final step on the griddle here is to add our bananas. Sorry, Crystal. This is the part you don't like. But here we go. And they're on there. We got those those nanners added to the mix. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, mix it all around. Let them get a nice good toss and all this brown sugary goodness. I'm gonna get my second here so we can just kinda actually toss them, you know? And because this is all hot, what I can do is actually turn off the griddle now. But look at those bananas. Those are beautiful, and they're just nice and coated in all this brown sugar, whiskey, brandy, cinnamon, buttery mixture here vanilla all that and I'm gonna they're, they're all nice and coated I'm gonna spread them around so they can get a little bit of time cooking in this heat getting nice and hot and while they do I'm gonna go grab the ice cream and put some in the bowl like I said I got some gelato today I was gonna grab one of those you know like two dollar half gallons of butter pecan and then I saw the, gel the gelato and I was like you know what we gotta we gotta go go big today we gotta go all out as much as I love that Cheapo butter pecan, you can get it like Walmart or whatever. I figured why not go a little bigger. <laughs> so it says, burn them to death. Burn those bananas to death. Um, uh, you know what? Just for you, maybe I'll do that in the future. As for today, I'm eating this, so <laughs> I'm going to let them just simmer. I see Alejandro has joined in. Huzzah! Glad to see you. Glad you're here. Real quick, guys, I'm going to go grab... That gelato. And here we have it. Coconut and butter pecan gelato. And I've got a bowl here as well. Now next thing I need is a spoon. So these bananas are doing good. We'll give them another toss while they're sitting. Sitting on that heat. And like I said, I've got two kinds of gelato. I'm going to put a little bit of both inside this, uh, this bowl before topping them. And you know what? I don't often get to use my ice cream scoop, which I believe is right here. If I can't find it, ah, there it is. Guys, I got an awesome ice cream scoop here, and I'm going to use it. Gray Wolf has jumped in. Huzzah! Glad to see you here. Oh, there you are, Peter. So, And Alejandro asks, so Brett, can you do something similar with a different fruit? I'm sure you probably can. You could definitely do it with plantains. Um, but I don't know. I'm sure there, there are similar things to Bananas Foster. Um, and yes, you are here, Amber! You ruined sugar and butter by adding bananas. <laughs> Sorry, Crystal. Sorry, sorry. But anyway, let's get to it, guys. I'm going to start with our coconut gelato. And just, I love this stuff. Oh, yep, got to peel off this top. This is how you know it's fresh. 
ish. Freshly sealed. There we go. I'm just going to get a nice, good scoop out of here and put that down in the bottom of our bowl. You know, why not? Let's do two scoops. Two scoops of coconut. This is a lot of gelato, guys, and a lot of bananas. I'm not going to use all these bananas right now. I'll put some of them away. But in the meantime, we've got those two scoops of coconut. And now to open up the butter pecan. One of my favorite ice creams. In gelato form. I'm sure it's amazing. There we go. Our first scoop of butter pecan. Now getting our second. Two scoops in the bowl. There we go. We have our ice cream slash gelato. And next thing we're going to do, we're going to get a nice big scoop of our bananas with that brown sugar and all that goodness and put it right on top. Sorry, Crystal, I'm also ruining ice cream. But there we go. And as if that's not amazing enough with our bananas on top like that, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of some of this uh, sugar in the raw. This is palm sugar. Sorry, turbinado sugar. It's cane sugar, which this is also unopened. So let's go ahead and get that open. I'll set the bowl down so we can get this going. Because I've got a brulee torch. Now, we want to be a little bit quick with this because the ice cream is going to melt fast. Um, it already is a little bit with those bananas on top. Those hot bananas. So there we go. I got this big blister on my thumb, so it hurts doing some of this stuff. But there we go. And time to shake on some of this raw sugar right on top. Get some crystals going. And now we're going to take these. We're going to brulee them to create a nice crispy top. Okay, so I've got my brulee torch. And easy does it because you don't want this, this flame getting anywhere near your hands, okay? But it's great for bruleeing the sugar right on top. And there we go. That sugar is bubbling. Perfect. We're going to have a crispy top now. All right, guys. There we go. I see Pagan Space Muffin has just jumped in. Huzzah! Glad to have you here as well. OMG Coconut. Great. We well, haven't had bananas in the longest time, huh? Because they're so temperamental and you have trouble getting rid of fruit flies when they get in the house. Ooh, fair enough. Challenge, make whoop, make fried ice cream. Crystal, I've been thinking about it and I'm pretty sure I'm going to try it one of these days. But first, I got to give our foster a, a taste here, okay? So we got some of our coconut ice cream. Oh, I love it. No, that was a butter pecan, not the coconut. Some of our bananas here. You can't beat this, guys. Let's get some of our brulee top here, some of the ice cream and some of the banana all together. Mm. Oh my gosh. You gotta make it, everybody. It's super simple. Under 20 minutes here, and most of it has been me talking. Mm. And the brulee sugar on top. And it just, it's like the cherry on top, but it's sugar instead of cherry. Mm. The butter pecan and the coconut go very well together, actually. Especially with the bananas and the walnuts. Oh, okay, guys. This is... Uh, I'm gonna wear the crystal hair. Just nasty. Yeah, it is disgustingly good. You're right, Crystal. Woo, baby. Anyway, uh, that's all I got for you guys for dessert Saturday. Or rather, dessert month. Saturday, this Saturday. We got one more week of dessert month. So that's next Saturday. And uh, I'm thinking about making dessert crunch wraps. Tell me what you guys think. Mm. In the meantime, thanks for joining. 
much love and appreciation. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Mm. Share it with your friends. Comment down below. And I guess I'll see you all next time. Thanks again for watching. And much love, guys. Keep cooking. You know you can. <laughs> see you around, everybody. Oh, got some comments. Hang on. Right on time. Your break ends in five. Absolutely beautiful. Enjoy. You got to go. Me too. Crunch wraps sound good. All right. Take it easy, everybody.